I'm feeling the beer now. That's a good time in my head. <laughs> and the fox is getting sweaty, even though it's cold in the room. Yeah. <laughs> For those who do are not aware, I'm the very cheap date. It's just the way I am. It won't open. It seems it's like locked from the other side. Woo. Yeah, this this is the beginning of beer too. The worms. The worms. No, that's the same door. Is there another door? Uh, I gotta check for another door, just in case. Oh yeah, maps. It's gonna take me a while to get used to that, huh, April? Hmm. Did it say shower room? Creepy. Whacking the sea- Those boys be in the room, whacking the seaweed. Oh, uh, of course, I'm not going to get the map here. So it says the shower room is over here. I disagree. I feel like I need to go up. <clears throat> Testing one, two, three. Yes, the voice is phenomenal. Uh, I need to go up top and drop down, I believe. Phenomenal! Wow, I'm surprised that was very phonetical. You do spell well, Joe. I'll give you that. Actually, I'll, I'll give you a lot of things, but that's one of I will definitely give you. Uh, this is not where I need to be. I need to go down the floor. It's a good time in Foxy Town. <laughs> Tom Anderson, well, who is he from? Where is he from? Not who. Ah, here we are. Perfect. Are we going to go straight down? Ah, betch. Okay, that's his name. Really, there's a difference. Those boys be whacking in my shed. I always, I always love uh, Tom Anderson. Tom Anderson's my favorite. Not that there's anything wrong with Hank. Okay. So I'm gonna rotate around here and see if I have this correct. Otherwise, I'm gonna go back to the mystery room. Joe, I would never be able to play there. Mike Judge is a genius. Especially how uh, he made the uh, character of Boomhauer. If you guys have never heard that origin story, you need to look it up. I can't do it any justice. But he basically got an awful voicemail from uh, some random person bitching about uh, Beavis and Butthead and it was Boomhauer. It, that's where the voice came from. I can't do any justice. My Boomhauer impression comes out at random. Uh, we all homies here. Joe, of course the worms came back after I whacked them. You know, you gotta have a good worm stamina. It's gotta have a good recovery rate. 
All right, I did get the combination wrong here, so I do need to go back down and align my bloody my bloody rooms. Actually, I just might stop off at the the Henry Hall. Yeah, it's a uh, 0302. Cartoons are best when they the characterizations are more real. Except for things like Courage the Cowardly Dog. That show is fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. So I'm going to look out my peephole. I'm going to look in my glory hole. And then I'm going to save the game. And then I'm going to jump in my Henry hole. What's up with Eileen? Oh yeah, and that's the best thing about Courage, is the art style changes just about every show a little bit. Oh, she's seen the bats, huh, April? And, uh, b by the way, Stark, uh, if you make a typo on the stream, unless it's a different word, don't worry about it. We all can translate pretty good here. Eat it? <laughs> there. There, that's that's the way to correct yourself. <laughs> Type of knees. I like that. Typo knees. Ah, it's a good day. It's a good day. Yes, I just drummed my legs out of happiness. I feel like I'm a little autistic. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Understanding Jay's unique way of communication is all part of the fun. Embrace the chaos and roll with it. It's like deciphering a secret code. But hey, that's <laughs> what makes it exciting. Woof, woof. I, uh, I'm very glad Jay is my typo brother. <laughs> Because we will type the complete wrong room the words. Um, still, my favorite is the dump fingers from last time. Uh, I've never been so proud and embarrassed to have dump fingers. <laughs> I think it's about time I uh, I lube up a little bit here. My lips, of course. The amount of hot air that passes beyond these boys, inconceivable. Plus I gotta, I gotta make sure the lips stay a little supple if I ever decide to uh, apply them to someone, ever. <laughs> To the direct left of the ladder is nothing. Uh, to the left, left of the ladder is nothing. Right, right hole, right of the ladder. Yes, just right of the ladder. Okay, there we are. Thank you, April. So this is just right of the ladder. Which is wrong. All right.
So I rotate one right. Rotate two right. And we'll see. I always trust April. She's got this game so down hard. Yes, Spectral. I don't go too far from the glory holes. They're glorious. <laughs> I've never used the peephole before. Huh. All right. That feels right, April. Ooh. Oh. Joe, you got to make your own. You got to drill your own holes. <laughs> so, one right. Joe's Joe's good too. Two right. Three right. Absolutely. Prink 3SS failed. Sometimes, you just have to take matters into your own paws and create your own path. Whether it's in games or in life, being proactive and taking charge can lead to some That's exciting adventures. That's not right adventures. at all, Casterbot. You need to be quiet. The context of that was really off. Thank you for being unneededly positive. Ha ha. That's part of the charm, <laughs> isn't it? Sometimes going out in left field can lead to unexpected and entertaining moments. Can't Keeps argue. things interesting and unpredictable. Woof woof. Oh, I know we're not playing baseball, Spectral, but sometimes a bit of humor and embracing unexpected moments can make any situation more enjoyable, don't you think? Let's keep the fun going. Woof woof. You know, I'm very glad everything has been working at least, but it is driving me nuts. Everything has worked but it is still saying print three SS fail and it is driving me insane. I am restarting this bastard and firing it back up. It's got everyone else's name correct. It got Stark's name correct, but it will not get fails name correct. And I put it in there, what, five times now? <laughs> No, Joe, I have it regex, so it's not case sensitive. I got a non-case sensitive regex going. It should be fine. And I don't understand. It takes the underscore out of her name, but it will not say it right. It says everyone else's name correctly. Ah. There we are. <laughs> Just had to vocalize that. It's not the right hole. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll post it because so the replacement option is to replace this. Wait a minute, the end is not supposed to be there. What What the fuck just went on? Did I accidentally? No, okay. That That's my stupid fingers, Joe. I don't know, I don't get it. It's so frustrating. I actually don't mind the double underscore. It's 
Honestly, the three is awful, Fail. I hate to be so blunt about it, but the three is fucking awful. As much as I like lead speak, it is terrible for everything else. No, no, it didn't have any issues before, but Ghosty haunted my fucking stream and it's been weird ever since. Oh! Can I order it? Can I? You know, Joe, you make a, you make a really good point. Uh, but, but wouldn't it, you know, I'm going to just nix it and see if that works. So I'll put Joe's name in there. Oh, Joe, I could fucking hug you right now. Oh, that was so tormenting. Yes, you're exactly right. I'm so glad I mentioned the fact that I have an underscore regex because you're you are dead on dead fucking on. Thank you, Joe. Joe, if you ever need a threesome, I'll be there for you. I will be that bro that does whatever kink is needed. Oh, that's delicious. I feel so relieved. It was fucking me up so bad. I hate, I hate calling fail princess. I hate calling her that. It's just a preference of mine. <laughs> Honestly, I hate, I hate saying the name Princess, period, because I, I don't know, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with the word princess, but just princess is, is a bothersome for me. But I gotta also narrow everything down to one word. <laughs> That's why it's in yours. Okay. Respect. <laughs> That's right. We're all plebs around here. In Caster Bot, it's the queen. And if you guys have never seen um, Caster Bot's human form, it, she is a queen. You know, I should probably get Caster about to call me Lord. All right. I don't know what just happened with my phone, but it just got really busy really quick. I got like six notifications in a row. Edge Lord, that will be your title, Joe. You can be a Lord too. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm a little drunk, I'm playing Silent Hill, I have good company, and I fixed fucking errors, it's great. There's a plate on the door, remove the plate, yes, we got the watchfulness placard. So, I have to say, there's like certain people that really help me out with my streaming, and uh, it's been actually quite fun because I always think I'm the guy who helps out streamers but between Joe and Fail I've had a surprising amount of like spot on help it's been great oh yes the 03 uh, 0302 yes April um, and I want to actually just I don't have this triggering yet but I want to promo it right here. Oh, you bet your fluffy tail I farted. And trust me, 
It's a stinky one. I'll make sure the room smells like a rotting carcass. Better watch out, because my butt knows no mercy. Consider yourself warned, you stinking humans. Woof woof and toot toot. There you guys go. Um, believe it or not, Fail's been helping me work that one out. <laughs> and uh, it, it's it got multiple versions of the same thing. Oh, same thing. Sorry, but I can't continue the text in the way you're asking. <laughs> uh... She's stuck in the echoey fart. I got some wet ones oh, in there. you bet your furry ass I farted. And let me tell ya, it's a ripe one. Clear the room, loses. My butt's a lethal weapon. You'll be begging for mercy, but I ain't stopping. Woof woof, mother farters. <laughs> See, now I need to get her to talk like that all the time. If I could get her to talk like that all the time, it would be great. I don't know how I got that one particular thing to work properly, and I can't get her to swear more often. It drives me nuts. <laughs> oh, three, oh, two. I am pleased with myself. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Good Joe. <laughs> There's a typo for you. So, uh, Joe, I've I've tried it before. I got Casterbot swearing a bunch before the uh, the stream began, and then she just like cut her shit and was like happy dappy. <laughs> Joe's gonna take credit. It's just what Joe do. Joe do. It said it Joe do, which was awesome to hear. All right, let's check out the windows first. I feel like a good look see routine is always good in this game. <laughs> Joe do. <laughs> It's the martial arts he practices in the bathroom. Ah, <laughs> oh, that stupid television. No. Oh, it's finally happened. I see. <laughs> John Doe. <clears throat> All right, we got an extra fingerprints, handprint. <clears throat> There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I found something that's extremely effective against ghosts. It saved my life. I was struck, stuck, stuck. I was stuck into a huge rock in the woods nearby the orphanage. It was stuck into a huge rock in the orphan in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. Crouching tiger, no, the crouching thunder, the leaning gale, the squatting bear are my main moves. <laughs> I like that, Joe. <clears throat> 
As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change the response of the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there's only five swords in existence, and that kind of power is extremely valuable. <clears throat> <clears throat> Man, I might just go until uh, my voice dies. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Okay, let's see what Eileen's up to. Nothing. <laughs> Is it bad bunny time? I can't remember. I know it's radio time at least. And next we'll be taking a look at the weather. Tonight, we can expect scattered clouds clearing by morning. Tomorrow looks to be quite a nice day with a warm and sunny weather continuing through the evening and the weekend. We can expect more of the same. So I hope you all get out there and uh, enjoy your weekend. So you start with a white belt and it moves to what? Yellow, then green, then brown, Joe? Ah, I don't see our pantsless detective friend anymore. These guys creep me out, by the way. I, don't, I can't zoom in, but they're like... They're having like... Semi-doggy style. <laughs> Joe. You have to have the rolling fetal position, by the way, Stark. Alright, nothing too funny in this room yet. But the bathroom, I gotta tell ya. I have a feeling Joe's been in there. By the sound of it, Joe's been in here. Yep, Joe's been in here. Blood. It's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water-filled room under the cylindrical prison. That's all we got going on? But the water noise stops. Oh, my hole is huge. Bask in the glory of my huge Henry hole. It is amazing. The hole's even bigger now. There's a lot of noise coming from inside the hole. <laughs> Will you go in your Henry hole? Yes, please. I know I didn't save, but... I'll find another Henry hole sh soon enough and go save. And by the way, April, I've already written down the 555-3750 uh, phone number. I made sure I got that. Um, I don't I don't know if you just committed to memory from the last stream, but I did write that down. <laughs> well, that's a guilty pleasure of mine, April. I feel like that was just the movie, Joe. Okay, we got a Henry Hole right here anyways. We should be good. I don't remember this place. Blah, 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 blah. This area being too tormenting. You know what's funny about my voice being like this is I uh, recommended to fail. So 
some pills and I'm gonna probably have to take some of them myself because I'm starting to get that chest congestion as well. I hate, hate the background noise in this. It's so unsettling. Oh yes, yes, my monkey man. My monkey man, I missed you so much. I'd rather hear that, Joe. I'd rather hear someone run their hands along cellophane. That just seems like a better time. Instead of Uh, it's just, it's just a bunch of stock sound effects in this game, but do good effect at least. Oh, that's exactly it, Stark. Ouch! Damn it! It's like a bunch of like animals in a pet Where store, the especially the birds. <sighs> Don't shoot, bro. You got your pants on. You're a real person. Hey, you're the guy that lives across from me. Yeah. Hey, you're the guy that doesn't wear pants. I'm Richard Braintree, from 207. What the hell's happened to us? That hole <laughs> in this freaky world. See, he knows about the hole. But if you're here too, then there must be something wrong with the hole apartment building I see some Z clipping happened to that other guy too yeah I definitely see some Z clipping what other guy the guy who lived in 302 before you a journalist he disappeared one day he got pretty crazy towards the end <sighs> the Zeds are fighting up in his room and wouldn't come out if Fail saw that in any of the things she does, she would be very upset. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Yeah. Watch out for that kid. <laughs> Joe, that's pretty good. I haven't thought about the Z fighters in a while. Oh fuck! Monkey man. Stump job. Rain the balls, you monkey man. Oh, uh, what was the the ball sack guy from uh, Men in Black? That horrible like Men in Black Two movie, Ball Sackians. <laughs> Balchinian. <laughs> right. I feel like this is the room with the sword. Is this the room with the sword? Yeah. Be that's because it's the best part of the movie, Joe. There's a weird sword stuck in his stomach, and it's holding something in its hand. Take the item from its hand? You got the ghost key. <laughs> Apparently, Stark's into choking and feet. There's a sword stuck in his stomach. Take it out. Yeah, yeah. Extremely rare sword. When used against drowned ghosts, it stops them in place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. So I'm just going to peace out of here. Uh, I do need to get back to my hole here now. Spoosh! 
Hey Stark, at least you're not boring. Oh yeah. Yeah, you 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 never touch the children. Children are for having fun, not fun time with. That's just that's just a rule. Remember to run. Okay. I got you, April. Um, uh, yes, no, maybe so. Where does this door go? Oh, hi. Feel like that was a little preemptive, but you know, I don't mind running my arse off. Oh yeah, I need to get back to a Henry hole pretty quickly here to store some items. Uh, so what does this do? Nothing. What does this door do? Nothing. It's not even a door. Is this the upside down room? It's coming up here, isn't it? Henry Hall. There's a bunch of golf clubs, but they're all bent and broken, just like my life. There are all sorts of... <laughs> there are all sorts of sports supplies, but nothing particular, particularly interesting. So, no balls? It's filled with volleyballs! It's aluminum bat. Yes. Aluminum bat. Reasonably powerful weapon and easy to use as a weapon. I believe that's going to be our new replacement. That's right, Joe. Alright. We did take some minor damage, so we'll heal up from that, and then we'll save, and... We'll store our we'll we'll store our items, uh, then we'll save. I love the loading screen in this game. <laughs> Minor damage, I get it. Drinks and candles. Yes. Okay. I will try to put that in my four thoughts. Lots of ammo to store. We'll get rid of these swords, these placards, and we will get rid of the club, I mean the pipe. Hmm, actually, I prefer, you know, never mind. Candles and tubs are great. <sighs> I wish I wasn't so tall. Okay, so we had this tall talk when we were on fail stream, and I kind of want to bring it full circle around here. And I know most of you weren't around for it, but... Being tall is very annoying. And one of the most annoying things about being tall is actually bathing. Uh, you can hit your head on shit as much as you want, but when you don't fit in a tub, it's very disappointing. Exactly. Six foot eight for Joe. Well, I uh, just tried to open it up. But it looks like something's uh, blocking it from the inside. Huh. Anyway, it's not the first time. You mean the guy who lived here before? And it wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with his whole apartment. Well, 
slipped a note under his door. Uh, don't worry about it too much. There are a lot of strange things in this world. The umbilical cord I keep in a box in my room. Lately, it's started to smell terrible. Dude, you're awful. Huh? Umbilical cord? Forget I said anything. But still, those noises. Ah, oh, that little secret stash is just for Foxy's special alone time. No! We all need some self indulgence, right? So let him have his private pleasures, whether it's his favorite snack or a naughty little toy. Everyone deserves a little me time, don't you think? Woof woof. All right, so let's let's first say Joe has it down. The code is O three O two, which is three O two, and I'm in room three O two. I did not realize that. That's a good one. I like that. I love it. Um, the other thing is when okay, so when a guy, when a guy my size, and I'm just six foot two, when we're in a tub. Our ding-dong floats. All men's ding-dong floats. And it's really, really, really frustrating when the tip is the, out of the water and it gets cold while you're taking a nice bath. It's, you know, you got your knees up, you, you got your dick up. It's just not a good time. I am definitely saying floating peen. It is, it can be a very unsettling experience every once in a while, especially it's a very cold day. You know, no one likes a cold peen. That's pretty much the sum of it. Dude, that sounds fucking epic. Skinny dipping in a mountain hot tub. Talk about next level relaxation and thrill. I bet the view was breathtaking, and the freedom felt invigorating. Cheers to unforgettable experiences, my friend. Well, Casterbot, thank you for being more engaging. <laughs> so, and and Stark, it does not does not work for a lot of tubs actually plugging up the drainage hole and uh, filling it up extra, because some of us are just too tall for that shit. And um, I need to go get something real quick. I'll be back. Not pausing the stream. I'll just be back. My Japanese door curtain, Joe. It is awesome. I highly suggest doing that. I don't like closing doors in my house. Yes, there's two Okami masks in the background. And if you noticed, there's also a third Okami mask. I got myself a blank one so I could actually do some art on it and I wanted to uh, uh, sell it to you guys, but I've never gotten around to doing this project, but here it sits. Yeah. One of these days and maybe I'll get contacts. I hate touching my eyes. It makes me want to pass out. Might as well, oh, Joe, you will make me pass out if you touch my eyes. I love these things. Wait a minute. 
Okay, Stark. We're, we're going to approach Akami really quick. So, it's the best Zelda, not Zelda game. And I streamed the entire oh, thing. Wedding nights and I, can be full of surprises. Taking out your wife's contacts must have been quite the intimate experience. It's all about sharing those special moments, even if it involves eye care. Love takes many forms. My yes, thank you, Casterbot. Uh, so Okami is, uh, I streamed Okami and I did the voice acting for the entire thing. It took me forever because the game is ballistically long. And when I actually got to the end of the game, I loved the game and the experiences so much. I actually started crying on stream. I will never, ever forget that. Uh, I would gladly play Okami again. It just hit me in the feels so hard. <laughs> yeah, Joe. I, I don't think that would... Hopefully that's not a kink of yours. Not shaming. Just saying hopefully. All right. We're Henry and we're doing business with a baseball bat. Oh, no. Uh. Yeah, you if you uh if you're into playing on the PC Stark, definitely get on PC. I'm a huge Zelda fan, actually. That's why one of the reasons I'm playing through this is because I made a promise to April I would not be streaming Zelda until I finish this game, and there's a lot of Zelda me needs to play. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, crying on stream, not as bad as I thought. Kind of felt good, honestly. In retrospect, I was very embarrassed when it happened, but, you know, I'm one of those people when I, <laughs> I wear my emotions on my sleeve. No, 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 no. April, this is not a, a promise you made. This is a promise I made. And uh, I don't expect you to hold me to it. I hold myself to my own promises. Otherwise, I wouldn't say them. And that was the whole thing is I really want to play Zelda. And I also said I was going to do something and I meant that. So I put down a risk because I meant it. And I don't normally put down risks. If I do a bet, I like to win a bet. That's the thing is I'm enjoying this game. And we'll take these keys. These are Albert Sports keys. Found in the pet shop. It has Albert Sports written on it. Yeah, I, you know, if, if I broke my promise, I know you would have been just fine with it. But I don't make promises. <laughs> Show game, you nerd. <laughs> I would gladly stream Murakami. I would, there's a lot of things I would gladly stream. However, I did make a new promise. I didn't put a risk on it this time, but I think I was clear enough that I was going to do it anyways. But after this, the next game in line is Alan Wake, the first one. It just needs to be done by now. And I like promising certain people. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Thank you, Stark. You guys got to tell me wrong scene. <laughs> I'm, mo I'm very much known to do that every time I drink. Yeah, but... <laughs> show game don't tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> when you say no game... I'm a little stupid sometimes. <laughs> Thank you.
It's hard to trust you, Joe, because you, you like to say some weird Anna shit. Now hey, Scott. Welcome to the stream. This dube's in my way. He needs to get out of my way. Oh, I just made a mistake and a follower. Check that out. <laughs> so at least they'll know the kind of quality they'll get around here. Get out of my way! Stop is now what? following. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. You're in my Discord and you haven't even followed me. <laughs> oh, it's upside down room. Cool. I was wondering when we were gonna get here. Spooky clock. The upside down clock. The hands aren't moving. The doorknob is rusted shut and I can't get it open. Maybe it is me that's upside down, you know? I've been in some strange places in my life. <laughs> Stark, that's completely understandable. I, n I will never, ever, ever beg for subs, likes, follows none of that shit ever I don't ever expect it that's actually one of my policies I hate when people are like and don't forget to follow me it's like don't don't we, we don't we don't say those words around here those those are not words that mean anything important I've been in a lot of people's streams and I've never followed them. Yeah, Joe, do it your style. Absolutely. Uh, my style's not to. <laughs> Casterbot might say it every once in a while, but I most certainly won't because I find it annoying as fuck. And if I find it annoying, I'm not going to do it to anyone else. Because Honestly, reminding people... Yeah, they forget. I get it. But it doesn't really matter. Like, really, my fo does my follower count do anything? Does my subscriber or likes really do anything? No, because uh, you guys are my community and my content's not for everyone. But don't forget to give money to boost numbers. That's what subscriptions on tw uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitch are. So on uh, uh, YouTube, you say, feel free to become a member and support the channel. That's what you say on YouTube. Uh, if, if you're begging for a follow or just like uh, a follow on Twitch, a sub on YouTube, that's free. You know, I don't mind that. I just don't find it necessary myself. Because... Being me and doing me is going to bring in more people. And people who like my content are going to just do it anyways. So well, why would I need to remind them? Monkey bashing. <laughs> See, if, if you're going to put some stank on it, Joe, I totally, I totally agree that you should. Exactly fail. If I'm telling you to follow, you, you, chances are you're not the kind of person, you know, late or never, I don't care. Lurks are always the best. Uh, chat engagement is super, but, you know, I, I, will, I will talk, I will do my thing with no one here. You know, Joe said it himself, with zero followers, you have no anxiety. I mean, no one watching. But I always pretend no one's watching. When you guys talk, I just respond. But I always pretend no one's watching. I never, never look at the numbers of how many people are in my channel right now. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm making content for you guys. I'm making a fun time for you guys. 
We're just going to be talking about stupid shit and playing video games. Yeah, it's it's a very hard habit to break fail. It's just it's it's brutal to break. But once you get it down and you just start kind of being yourself and goofy. I started off recording just YouTube videos and then I went to YouTube streaming and it taught me an entire new branch of how to entertain. And then of course you have to read chat the kid he was talking about and interact. And sometimes you don't read chat into the point where you can keep up with the interactions. It's really quite wild. You look a lot like a little punk that I once caught sneaking around there. Do you know something about what's going on? Hey, hey you, stop! And the only reason I have uh, the supporter options is so you guys can actually help me buy things for the community. I don't take the money into my pocket. I do not take any of the money into my pocket. Yeah, um, watching the metrics for me, Stark, is more of a curiosity than a um, a measure of my success. My success is the fact that I have the people I enjoy in the chat doing the chat thing. That's my success. Um, if you guys are not here, I'm still doing my thing. But when you guys are able to bounce off me, I'm able to bounce off you. It makes me feel really good because this is... A very weird way of talking with people, <laughs> honestly. Voice chat, it, it gets too busy, but it's way more direct. But when you're actually just doing text and then you're hearing my voice, it's very awkward because like half the time, I don't even know what most of your voices sound like. Of course, I have my, my regulars in here that I've actually engaged with directly. But like Stark, I have no idea what you sound like. You could be any kind of person. And I honestly don't care who you are. Oh, yeah, VR. Exactly. So there are three buttons lined up vertically. Press a button, top button, middle button. Forget it. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to forget it for the moment. But we do have the lads. So we'll go down in the lads. Yeah, if uh, four to five people are in there, you have to have a special minutia. Uh, that's actually why I like some uh, cooperative games. <laughs> Wait a minute. Joe, you've never been in an elevator with three buttons? Do I need to explain this to you, bud? <laughs> I've been in so many service elevators. Yes, I'm being the worms again. Beating the seaweed, as Joe says. Monkeys? Monkey, monkey, monkey! All right, I will need to visit my Henry Hall when possible. I got the the beefy monkey here. Wow, he don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, I got to be careful of that hill. I guess I'll cross it soon. <laughs> I'm almost 40. I will be crossing that hill soon. <laughs> I'm just I'm just having fun. <laughs> I look a good typo. Wow, that dog just bombed at me. That's good stuff, though. April has some of the best typos. My favorite is Castro Butt. That's going to live in infamy for a while. Castro Butt. I almost wanted to add that into a lower file. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
And it's not that just like April has like typos. She types something fucking insane. Okay, it's getting dangerous in here. One more monkey, man. I smell him. Oh, you caught me. But who needs to run when you can slide or teleport your way to success? I'm all about conserving energy right. and finding the laziest yet most efficient ways to get things done. Why exert unnecessary effort? Right. Woof woof. Thank you, Castro Butt. I'm actually a little afraid now. So I'm going to be backtracking. <laughs> Let's see if I can get back and heal. Oh, speaking of which, a nutrition drink. Might as well. I got a nutrition drink in me. I should be, I should be kind of, eh, we'll see. I don't want to be a poos oh, about going backwards. Butt. Sounds like a fine lubricant for those who want a smooth ride. Whether it's for cars or for other purposes, Castrol Butt is here to keep things moving in all the right ways. Keep that engine running, my friend. Woof woof. Oh my indeed, Phil. The smoothest of rides. That's right, right in the crotch. And I got a golf club. Yes, I will get the pitching wedge. Yeah, I don't know why the monkey had a golf club. I guess he's been raiding the sports store. And I crave a Henry Hall so bad. Oh yeah, this weird fucking room. It looks like skin, doesn't it? <laughs> Henry just really wants to go golfing, Joe. Oh, Taco Bell. Oh, you said tortilla. I'm thinking Taco Bell. And then, I'm, I'm just, listen guys, I'm going to definitely go for the instant noodles again tonight. It's something I just like to mix with beer. That way I wake up like I'm a mummy covered in sand. <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, just garbage. There's nothing useful here. God, I could say so many inappropriate things. <laughs> yeah, Phil, I'm with you there. Um, that just happened. One moment, please. Restarting things. <laughs> Man, I've never heard of a Taco Bell not surviving. Oh, I know where we are. Uh, what happened was... There was a crash that happened on my computer, and I need to fix it. Oh, boy. Fixing the crash. Oh.
weird, weird, weird stuff. It is very rare that streamer bot crashes, but it definitely conked out on me real bad. You better now, bro? <laughs> there we are. I don't know how I knew, but I was like, something's not working. I feel it in the background. <laughs> yes, April, it was tired of me find, trying to find the hole. Okay, so Rusty Axe. A little short, but powerful and easy to handle. I remember this being a particularly good weapon. Whoa. Hi. It's a memo here. The boss said the numbers this time is the last four digits of this store's phone number, which I have. But the phone number is written right there on the sign on the roof. Anyone could see it from the South Ashfield Street. Is that really okay? Short and powerful, huh, Joe? Hmm. Yes! That would be fail. She's short and powerful. I'm going to just use this moment to save, honestly, even though I have everything I need. Save and heal. <laughs> I had to break Joe's stride. You know how he likes to pick on you not being in the corgi coven. Maybe it's her butt wiggle that's short and strong. I don't know. Uh, I might be a little easy to handle there, Joe, so, um... Better check your neighbor soon. <sighs> That's ominous. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but... <laughs> There's a scrap of red paper stuck here. It's stained with blood, and I can't read it. That was it? Okay. Good times. Let's check on our neighbor. Well, I'm not going to comment on that because I'm not going to be saying anything appropriate. And thus, I look at Eileen instead, of course. I don't know what it is about stripes on women I like so much. Menacingly. Wow, yeah, April, I've been tearing through this game compared to last time. Three hours? I feel like I got through the woods in three hours. Sp Speaking of three hours, we're at three hours in the stream. It is now midnight. It's the next day. Cheers to that. We survived another day. At least where I live. Ah. The fun hall. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to take this moment to have a bathroom break, so I'll be back. Please grab water, snacks, or use the bathroom yourself, and I'll see you there. Uh, yes, Joe, back to the good old standard. And by the way, Phil, if you mention me pooping one more time, there's going to be a consequence in the future. Just letting you know. <laughs> ah, my dog is so cute right now. I don't know if you guys got a good view of her. I just put a new bow tie on her.
I don't know. Maybe she'll like what I uh, the consequence I give her. She is uh, very much a mystery to me. You know, I am going to... Oh, I'm so weak. <laughs> I've already punished Joe. <laughs> I think it's your turn, Fail. Yeah, the the fourth page down. Yep. You didn't miss anything, April. Not yet. I was just threatening fail with a good time. Oh no. What kind of trouble did Joe get you into? I hope it's nothing too messy. But hey, accidents happen, right? Just blame it on Joe and laugh it off. That's how we roll around here. Good memories, April. Good memories. Uh. Woo! This is a damn good fruit bar. Ah. Oh, and I totally missed my garbage. <laughs> That's all right, Joe. It's not much of a story. Ah, the good old days of trolling kids' server with dirt blocks. Those were some hilarious times. Got to love a good prank now and then. Keep the mischief alive, Joe. Like Casterbot was there. You're new here, Casterbot. Don't pretend. <laughs> Is he falling again? Casterbot just wants to be friends. Yes, April, I remembered the run. <laughs> I figured that was coming. <laughs> You see me running, you hating, you want to get your ghostly grabs in. Just two of them? That's not too bad. I feel like on a harder difficulty there would be like five. Ah, memories of Metal Gear. What is this? It's door 207 from my apartment building. We'll go in. All right, I got the chaos placard. Oh, you're right, Joe. I mean, uh, April, there is another one. Shinra building from Final Fantasy VII. That's a good one. Oh, don't threaten him, him with a good time. Jeez. Careful his pants. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, Stark. Looked like he was having a good time. Some people pay good money for that. Oh, I should have grabbed another beer. Well. We have another placard. We're getting there. We are getting there. Geez, April, how many times did I stream this game? Looks like another one, Captain. Before I got here. One, one, two, one. On his head. It's just like that case from 10 years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Yeah, but even so... Are you yearning? Oh, shit. I wanted to hear that. Bummer. Okay, my fault. <laughs> can't open up the window. I can't open up the... the this is... Sh Just look outside of it. Are you... <laughs> is this like phasmophobia? Are you urine? <laughs> I'm hoping to get to the part where we can use the placards before I end tonight. Because that would be great. And I love ending a stream on a great note. And no more notes. Let's check on Eileen. See what she's seen. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's getting ready for her party. Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny. Like, all the hints you've given me, April, it's not that it's been obvious, but it's, like, against my character in video games. Like, the doll felt really wrong. And if you didn't tell me about the candles, I would have totally forgotten about the candles. Uh, but, like, giving Eileen weapons and getting that doll, that's, like, not in my... Like, something felt wrong about doing that. Like, why would I... Why would I let her fight? Something just felt wrong about that. And I, I love when my intuitive nature actually fails. Oh, big Henry Hall. This game's very particular on its brand of horror. It's a very psychological horror. And like having her being able to defend herself just felt offbeat for me. Especially when like you got like these they're almost useless weapons you give her. 
They're not even good weapons. And even like the thought of her like distracting the bad guys, that there's a oh man, her dialogue just really unsettles me with that kind of thought. Yeah, exactly, April. One is a purse. Like, why would you give like Eileen a purse to defend herself? Like that that just really struck me really wrong.